The Iranian government has learned a lesson from its UAV industry. They may have missed time to compete with powers in field of manufacturing advanced conventional weapons such as fighter jets or warships. But if they start to work on new innovative fields of weapons, uh, at the same time while superpowers have just started to work on them, they could reach unbelievable results almost simultaneously and will be able to confront superpowers. This strategy is also in line with the symmetric nature of Iran's military doctrine. Hello everyone, I'm Shafi. Welcome to the new episode of Polite Affairs. Is Iran able to carry out an electromagnetic attack on the United States? Let's have a brief look to know. Laser bombs and electromagnetic bombs or electromagnetic pulse weapons are those recently developed fields of weapons on which Iran is heavily investing. Two months ago, I saw an article by Washington Examiner, which, by the way, is not a very friendly news outlet to Iran, that Tehran is seriously working on electromagnetic weapons or EMP to counter US if any direct clash happens. Most of American news outlets often uh, publish such reports just to exaggerate things about Iran. So I did not pay much attention to it. Though recently I have increasingly seen reports in Iranian outlets on this issue too. Based on them, Iran tries to manufacture this weapon before US does and therefore deprives others from their right of having the same technology like in case of nuclear weapon. Now it's really worth to take a look at it. Is Iran able or willing to carry out an electromagnetic attack on US soil? Based on Washington Examiner, US evidence shows that Iran is stepping up its efforts to explode a small nuclear weapon delivered on a satellite in the skies over key electric grids, creating a blackout knockout for the United States. This report says that an official Iranian military textbook endorses nuclear HEMP attack against the United States as well as deception measures to control nuclear weapons in violation of international agreements. EMP or HEMP weapons can effectively shut down a nation and be easily deployed. So in any conflict, they could be more effective than a nuclear bomb with less casualties. Based on what we know for carrying out such an attack, there are two ways or methods. First, this weapon could be delivered to the destination using an intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM. The second one is to use a satellite which is orbiting over United States. Iran still has no ICBM in its stockpile. They obviously have the capability to manufacture one in near future as they already have ballistic missiles with more than 2000 kilometers of range and have launched satellites which needs almost the same technology. Based on claims from Iranian officials, they have not yet decided to make ICBM as for the nuclear weapon, but if they decide, they'll make. So for now, the first method is not available. But is Iran able to carry out this attack using a satellite. Technically, yes, as they have multiple homegrown and also more powerful Russian satellites. But based on scientific studies, they'll need more powerful and bigger satellites to be able to do it. If they manage to reach the technology of EMP weapon, with their current satellite capability, they could attack only one city or even smaller than that in the United States. And on the other hand, they'll face huge invasion on their homeland by US forces. So it's not worth it. This technology is not still mature, especially with regard to Iran. Though the fact that Iran is working and investing on such advanced weapons is a worrying sign for United States because Iran knows how to use its capabilities in the best possible way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out other videos on similar issues on my channel and to subscribe.